Hi there, fellow dog parent. Have you had to treat your dog from Giardia? When our fur babies are not feeling well or if they seem fatigued, lethargic, and exhibiting symptoms of diarrhea, it causes us to worry that they may become prone to possible dehydration. As you may know, I'm Susie and I'm very glad you can join me again. In this video, I will walk you through the things you need to know about treating Giardia in dogs at home. But before we kick things off, I'd really appreciate it if you can click on the subscribe button so you can get easy access to all of my videos. I've got a lot of tips and pointers about keeping your dog happy and healthy using natural means and I don't want you to miss out on any one of them. And if you haven't done so already, please do hit that bell icon so you'll get an instant notification whenever I have fresh content. Make sure you watch this video until the end because I will also share my favorite tip for Giardia in dogs using natural means. Using the learnings and knowledge that we've gathered through the years, my team and I at Homeo Animal will be here to help you so you can give your dog the quality of life you've always hoped for. However, I'd just like to emphasize that the information I will share about other home treatments are based on what we gathered online from our research. When it comes to helping you keep your dog healthy and happy, we are naturally with you and your pet every step of the way. Let's begin our discussion by finding out what Giardia in dogs really is. At its simplest, dog Giardia is a type of parasite that likes to hang out in the intestines. If a dog's immune system isn't up to par, the Giardia parasite may set off gastrointestinal issues that can range from loose, watery stools to excessive uh, flatulence. It is important to keep in mind that while all dogs may be prone to, to Giardia, this parasite usually affects older dogs and puppies. So here's the deal. Giardia is very contagious in older dogs and puppies. Interestingly, the main reason why Giardia commonly affects older dogs and puppies has to do with their digestive systems. Older dogs tend to have a weaker digestive system that cannot fight off parasites and other unwanted visitors at once. And on the other hand, puppies tend to have a still developing digestive system that isn't as responsive as it should when parasites like Giardia drop by unexpectedly. This is why it's crucial that you keep on boosting your canine friend's digestive system and immune system health in general so he won't be vulnerable to Giardia uh, in dogs and similar problems uh, sooner or later. And make sure you watch this video all the way through because I will be sharing the two best natural options that you can go for in doing just that. Now let's talk about the things you should avoid when taking your canine family member to the doggy part. While this may sound surprising, the doggy part is one of the places where your dog can un unexpectedly catch the Giardia uh, parasite. And if you're looking to suitably protect your precious canine friend uh, from this uh, parasite, the next time you're visiting the place, here are some uh, important things to keep in mind. First, don't allow your dog to socialize with unfamiliar dogs. While this may sound a bit surprising, letting your canine family member mingle with dogs you're not familiar with uh, can make him prone to Giardia. See, dogs typically greet each other by sniffing their rear regions, and if your precious pooch happens upon a dog that's infected with uh, Giardia, then licks his nose, chances are he will also be vulnerable to the parasite. I'm not saying that you should keep your dog from socializing with other dogs at, at the dog part. Just make sure he will only mingle with the ones you personally know and you're good to go. Secondly, only let your dog play in areas where other dogs don't usually poop. Giardia is commonly transmitted through fecal matter. If your pooch gets in contact with poop from another dog that's infected with this parasite, it's highly likely that he will become infected too. And while you're at it, remember to keep your dog away from objects like toys from unfamiliar dogs since Giardia can also stick to the surfaces. Keep in mind to map out the areas beforehand uh, where you will allow your dog to play and frolic just to be extra sure. 
Third, keep clear from public drinking and eating areas for dogs. Since giardia affects the digestive system, this parasite can also be possibly transmitted through the saliva of an infected dog. Say your dog eats or drinks from a place where an infected dog just had a treat or drink, it's very likely that the parasite will be transmitted to him or her. It is also highly recommended that you bring your very own drinking or eating containers that your dog can exclusively use. Fourth, Always make sure that you properly clean and dispose of your dog's poop. There is always the possibility that your dog is a carrier of the Giardia parasite. And remembering to clean and dispose of your canine friend's waste appropriately when you're at the dog park also make, uh, keeps other dogs from catching Giardia. Before we move on to the next part of this video, let me just ask you a quick question. What other safety precautions do you have in your checklist to prevent your dog Dog from getting Giardia. Please feel free to leave your inputs in the comment section so other dog parents can also benefit from them. I am so excited to check out your insights very soon. Now, let's talk about the symptoms of dog Giardia infection. The most common indicator that your pooch has been infected with this parasite is loose, watery stools, which eventually become diarrhea. In some cases, the diarrhea may become so severe that a dog could already be at risk of dehydration. Should you notice that your dog is suffering from diarrhea, keep in mind to give him or her access to fresh, clean water at all times to prevent just that dehydration. Moreover, other symptoms of Giardia infection also include low appetite levels, lethargy, bouts of vomiting, as well as uh, excessive and smelly flatulence. And here's where things get a bit tricky. Some dogs that get Giardia don't exhibit any symptoms of the disease at all. However, they can still transmit the Giardia parasite to other animals and even people. This is the biggest reason why you should always ensure that your pooch has a strong digestive system so he won't be vulnerable to this parasite. Just to emphasize, Giardia in dogs is quite contagious. Besides the fact that it will become so much worse if not given proper and immediate care, there is also the possibility that the parasite will spread to your other pets at home. Additionally, the risk of transmission is also very high if you have a baby at home. With the baby crawling on surfaces that may be tainted with Giardia infection is quite imminent. Now, Let's move on to the treatment of Giardia in dogs. Giardia is a disease that should be treated immediately. One natural home remedy you can use is cloves. According to the National Center of Biotechnology Information, known as the NCBI, these um, aromatic buds contain an essential oil called eugenol that is seen to significantly inhibit parasitic growth. And to use cloves for getting rid of Giardia in dogs, Add a tiny pinch of this powdered spice to your canine family member's food. That's it. In case you're uh, finding it tricky measuring the amount you're going to mix in, just use your thumb uh, and forefinger to pick up the spice and you're good to go. Another natural home remedy you can use to get rid of Giardia in dogs is Golden Seal. The NCPI reports that golden seal contains a major alkaloid called berberine that has been seen to help relieve digestive issues such as amoebiasis, diarrhea, as well as cholera. To use golden seal as a home remedy for dog giardia, mix in a couple of pinches of the powdered root of this herb to a fourth of a cup of hot water. Let the mixture steep until it cools down completely and then serve this golden seal tea to your dog. If we're being honest, the most common conventional uh, method of treating Giardia infection in dogs is through the use of antibiotics. These antibiotics are typically administered for up to two weeks to ensure that all of the Giardia parasites have been eliminated. And after the antibiotics, a dog that has been infected with uh, this parasite should also be given a sanitizing bath to remove any eggs uh, that may have clung in his coat. Depending on the severity of the Giardia infection, some dogs may require multiple doses of antibiotics as well as other types of medicines uh, to become healthy again. This goes without saying that treating this disease with conventional medicines uh, can be quite tedious and costly. But here's a question that you may have already wondered about once or twice. Is it really possible that a dog can become immune to Giardia? 
Well, the truth is a dog cannot become immune to this parasite. Regardless of how many times your pooch gets Giardia, he won't become immune to this disease. So long as your canine family member becomes exposed to this parasite, he will possibly be infected again and again. But think about it this way. Although you can't make your pooch immune to Giardia, you can, however, boost his digestive and immune system health so he won't be easily vulnerable to this parasite. Now, uh, here's my favorite tip in uh, combating Giardia in dogs I told you about earlier in this video. See, one of the ways you can remedy Giardia infection in dogs is by giving your pooch a healthy and balanced digestive system. Our product, ProBioPet, is specifically designed to promote and support a healthy gut flora for your dog so he won't be easily vulnerable to the effects of the Giardia parasite. ProBioPet is loaded with dog-friendly probiotics that helps ensure his digestive system will always be in good shape. Another homeo animal product I like to recommend is Silver Pet. Silver Pet is made with a base of colloidal silver and helps maintain the good functioning of all body systems, particularly stomach and gastrointestinal health. While Silver Pet can be used by itself to strengthen your dog's immune system, it can also be given in addition to medical uh, treatment. Protecting your beloved dog against the Giardia parasite shouldn't be a guessing game. It's high time you got the peace of mind you've always wanted for your canine family member without overspending along the way. You can find out more about the probiotic and silver pet when you check out the description of this video. If you'd like to know more about how to get rid of Giardia naturally or have some other questions about this disease, please feel free to check out our free health advisor guidance. Besides getting in touch with one of our health advisors to answer your questions, you will also learn more about the completely natural and high quality products and treatment options that best fit your animal's health needs. You can either click on the link on the screen to get started right now or browse the description box if you prefer to do it after you watch this video. So that pretty much wraps up our discussion on Giardia in dogs treatment at home. I'd really appreciate it if you hit the like button if you learned something from this video. Make sure you also click on, the, uh, on subscribe if you haven't done so already too. And please feel free to leave a comment because I'm really looking forward to hearing from you soon. See you again in my next video.